Hey guys, happy Friday. Uh, it's Dr. Raymond. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Um, and a welcome to episode eight of my vlog as you follow me as I start my own practice. Um, so a lot of things have been going on this week. We have about two and a half months until the practice opens. So I feel that I am beyond busy. I'm just stretched doing so much. Um, but it, on, on the flip side too, it's really exciting. Just kind of, you know, new challenges. Uh, I hate to be bored and I love a good challenge. And this definitely proves to be a challenge. Um, so I'm learning a lot, working hard. Um, the, my visiting physician job is still going uh, well. Um, I did a five day juice cleanse. This is my last uh, day actually. I did it with Squeezed Online and it was amazing actually. They, um, it's really convenient. You can order online and you can choose uh, I think they have one day, three day, five day, four day, up to seven day option. I chose the five day and they give you about six bottles of juice. Uh, one includes like cashew milk, with it, which it has um, some fat and some protein in it. So that helps. I usually drink it first thing in the morning and then they have a couple that have uh, coffee in it. So that was, <laughs> that was really, really nice because I'm definitely a caffeine addict. Um, did have some... Uh, just tiredness and kind of sluggish maybe like day two and day three but other than that I mean I feel really good um, uh, I've been better able to control my hunger I haven't really had any cravings so overall it's been a good experience I would definitely uh, do it again I did run into some problems uh, I think I didn't work out the first two days um, and then I did work out yesterday but I push it I, I usually run and I decided to go bicycling uh, with a friend and we did seven miles and you know it's kind of humid outside and I started to get a little dizzy and orthostatic uh, drank some water felt a little bit better and then I was fine when I got home and had another bottle of juice so I, I would definitely do it again um, what else I am in the process of interviewing and hiring for a uh, medical esthetician and a medical assistant so if you guys know anyone in the North Dallas area please email me comment something on here my email um, is in the um, description um, but uh, and you can go to my website too the number is on there whatever you can show up <laughs> to the office I don't care you know someone you are someone that's a qualified MA or esthetician let me know um, and then we did a walkthrough with the consulting team This little, is the uh, waiting room. Paper towel. Mm -hmm. yes. yep. That's one thing that's always on my products. Always. It always. Matter which office I'm yep. in, it's always on there. Yep. Well, what do you mean I'm going to change the thing? So they, there were about three other people there. The landlord, land, landlord was there. Um, and we had a risk manager. So, you know, we already had done, gotten a certificate of occupancy. And like I said in an early video, there was this whole thing about maybe the bathroom not being ADA uh, compliant and the uh, landlord at the last minute wanted me to change my lease agreement from three years to five years which I just didn't feel comfortable with. So um, the inspector came out and said everything was fine so the like literally the first thing she does we go over to uh, there's an area for lab work where you can do phlebotomy and things in the office. She opens up the cabinet, I mean, she just must have it, like a sixth sense or something. Opens up the cabinet and what do we see? Definitely it's going to have to be tight. Um, if you're doing a little bit of remodeling, you can get your contractors to just kind of knock out that back wall. Black mold. So, uh, I talked to 
to the landlord about it. I was glad that he was there. So he and the contractor that I also spoke with were already aware. So they're in the process of completely revamping all of that. I honestly just hope that it's ready to go by October. That's all I have to say about that. Um, and then it, there were some other things that you just like never think of. Uh, the sharps container that you put, you know, sharps, blades, things like that, needles in. She was uh, telling me that, uh, you know, it has to be a designated space. It can't be under cabinets. And that is foreign to me because literally like every other doctor's office that I've went into, they've had sharps containers <laughs> underneath the cabinet. And she's like, no. Uh, there's an issue with cross-contamination or something and you can get in trouble. I'm like, they may need to put out a public service announcement for physicians because I have literally seen this in most offices. Um, then there's like a water fountain there and she was saying that there's issues with cross-contamination there. So if anyone was to use the water fountain, it would have to be immediately wiped down after each use. <sighs> then she said the bathroom wasn't ADA compliant. And then the exit door at the back, apparently if it's an exit door of the, like the, for a fire and emergencies, it has to have an exit and an entrance. So there needs to be a bar place. And I'm just, at this point, I'm like, lady, <laughs> you do know I don't own this building. And this sounds super expensive. The black mold, yes, we are getting rid of. The ADA compliance, I don't even know if, I don't know. So we will really have to sit down and discuss that. And then um, I had already envisioned a workflow of us kind of using tablets in the office. And so now they're telling me that I need, I'm required to purchase a PC as well um, for the EMR and billing. Um, I'm not sure that that's 100% accurate because the EMR is web-based. Um, I've used it before. We used it in our residence clinic. So I don't know, but I just don't see the point in wasting money. Like, why am I gonna buy a PC when the MA is not really gonna just sit at the desk? You know, they're gonna room patients and they're gonna input everything in a tablet. It just, logically, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't go with the workflow. So I don't know, we'll see. But that was pretty much, <laughs> my week in review uh still have so many things to do next month will be all about um really locking locking down on uh employees um training and buying supplies stock in the office buying furniture um and then working on some advertising so you guys set your calendars for october 4th which is going to be our grand opening it's on a friday um, the plan is uh, to be open from 9 to 6 and just come and go, say hi, we'll have giveaways, freebies, um, so that's the plan, set your calendars, but of course I'll have more information as the day uh, comes closer. Um, thank you so much for watching, um, don't, forget, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, as always, for more information, you go to my website, www.themedicalinstituteforwellness.com. And as always, it is my sincere hope that you guys be well, uh, that you have an amazing, restful, peaceful weekend, and that you'll join me bright and early Monday morning as we continue our brand new series on faith for our rise and grind to shine. I'll see you soon.